Monty Andrews Farm is a picture of rural tranquility, but it's also at the cutting edge of small-scale electricity generation because this odd contraption is a vertical wind turbine. Vertical wind turbines come in a whole range of different sizes, from the 10 kilowatt commercial design behind me, all the way down to a little 10 watt turbine for charging the batteries on boats or caravans. With his turbine, Monty hopes to cut the farm's annual electricity bill by around three quarters. It is possibly a, an avenue of income, and it's also an avenue of a cost saving exercise, and also it's an avenue of, uh, of being slightly green. So how does this turbine compare to those in East Yorkshire and Lincolnshire's big wind farms? Monty's turbine is 10 metres tall and generates 10 kilowatts of energy, enough to supply six homes. Its giant relative is up to 125 metres tall, generating 2 megawatts of energy, enough to power more than 1,000 homes. As the, the need to address climate change grows and the price of fossil fuels costs increases, um, the opportunity to deploy small wind turbines of all designs are going to increase. According to the Grimsby-based company that markets the vertical turbine, it's 20% more efficient than its traditional competitors and much quieter. The noise levels uh, we're experiencing at about 10 metres is less than 30 decibels. And if you consider a whisper in a library, that is about the sort of level we're talking about. Monty had previously applied for permission to build two traditional 90-metre-tall turbines on his land, generating a lot of local opposition. That plan was shelved, but this smaller turbine seems to have won over the neighbours. The fact that uh, he's, got, he's now got the smaller version, as far as I'm concerned, it's, it's, it's OK. It's fine to me, yeah. Right, so, yeah, because it's unusual design. You can actually see it sometimes when you, we go down the club of it, you can see it, and it's only... Quite nice, actually. It just sort of, you know, fine. It's still early days for the vertical turbine, but this could be the future shape of wind energy in the UK. Jake Zuckerman, BBC Look North, Ketton.